Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Ave Dominus Nox. Uh, we've got this incredible Night Lords force for you guys to check out. And as always, we're going to start with the two characters from this commission. This whole project has been completed by Rich, one of the artists here at Siege, uh, who's had a really good time working on all the intricate models. And we've also got something a little bit different, which you can see in this character section. So let's jump in and have a look at these two awesome models. To start off with, we've got a Lord of Slaughter from Creature Caster. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Creature Caster, they are a really awesome manufacturer of uh, different types types of uh, miniatures. Um, they've got some really, really cool ones, like for example, this Lord of Slaughter, which is being used to resemble a uh, demon prince. Um, we've also got Hark and World Claim up painted in Night Lord's colors as a uh, Chaos Lord would jump pack essentially. Uh, so let's jump in, have a look. We'll start by looking at the Lord of Slaughter first of all, uh, a really, really phenomenal model, uh, as I said, produced by Creature Caster. Um, I, immediately, it's just got so much detail on it as a miniature. Um, you've got an incredible amount of skulls all over the base, which is a resin base which comes with the um, with the miniature. Um, you've got the skulls on the chest plate there that are moulded into kind of like the armour. We've got this awesome uh, sort of moor that he's got with all that muscular structure and that skeletal structure there as well. And uh, the horns obviously painted on top of the head in that red to have that kind of Night Lord-esque kind of scheme. I absolutely love all the eyes on the blade as well, like these demonic weapons that he's carrying, uh, this axe and also this sword. I think they're absolutely incredible. Um, and Rich has done a really lovely job of making the the gold work on the on the pauldrons and the kneecaps and sort of like the other areas of armor um, just have this kind of little baroque ancient kind of feel to it as well not too saturated um, but just a really really ancient kind of looking gold uh, which is really lovely but painted to a super clean finish as I'm sure you'll see um, moving around the back you can see the skeletal structure of the spine but the quality of the cast of a resin miniature is just really really second to none like uh, lovely lovely production on these and uh, look, all the veins and things on the wings are done and all um, sort of really sculpted extremely well and uh, subtly highlighted there on the wings uh, but an incredible Lord of Slaughter uh, great sort of proxy for a demon prince if you're looking for a third party non sort of GW model these are really really lovely and proportion wise as well they're quite nice um, so if you see them compared to say for example um, Space Marines and things like that they really do give that large uh, sort of feel that you'd expect from a demon prince uh, do really like all the muscular structure on the model as well uh, I like the way that Rich has broken up sort of like the armoured areas and then you've got the fleshy sections like for example the face and muscular structure the chest and abdomen and then obviously the odd spike and stuff coming out of that kind of armoured leg kind of thing uh, that I do really really like uh, so that's that awesome Lord of Slaughter from uh, Creature Caster and then up next, we've got uh, Harken World Claimer, but painted in the Night Lord's colours, uh, which is, I assume our client is just going to be using this as a, as a Lord uh, with Jump Pack, uh, but painted in a really super, super clean finish. If we just get this to focus for you guys, uh, you can see obviously all the edge highlighting that's done on the uh, on the armour. You've got that demonic entity or face just on the uh, shin there, which is really cool. All the skulls flying along there in that tassel. Um, and then obviously the Jump Pack has got all these little sort of trophy racks on it, which are really really nice uh, I love the uh, purplish tinge on these blades here almost ready tinge so like they've got like stained blood on them uh, which is quite cool uh, the odd little scratch and thing on the armor and uh, just on the base we've got another traitor I mean Dark Angel and uh, just uh, unfortunately has seen the brunt of uh, of this uh, this Lord's charge undoubtedly uh, but overall a really really awesome model uh, another great HQ choice to lead this Night Lord's force uh, we're gonna have a look at all the infantry they're coming up now and uh, believe me there's a lot of raptors and there's a lot a lot of infantry coming see you guys in a sec So to follow up those awesome characters, we've got a load of Raptors and Warp Talons. Uh, two great sets of miniatures that are extremely fitting for Night Lords and uh, they look great in their livery. So let's pull forward some of these uh, Warp Talons to start off with. Uh, always like Warp Talons. I think they're a great, a great miniature. They're great sculpting them. Um, as you can see, Rich has done a lovely job on these with all the red lenses painted across them and the little motifs and things done in red as well, just to denote those on the armor. You've got that subtle purplish reddish tinge on the claws just to show that sort of dark energy that's uh, flowing through them. What could be dry 
dried blood, uh, whichever you prefer. Um, got some free-handed lightning on these guys as well. So there's not loads and loads on them, but at the same time it is there, so they obviously denote them as Night Lords. Um, the overall armor color, um, obviously a midnight clad, but uh, it's a very, very dark blue, and those blue highlights just really add that sort of blue tinge to it as well, and it helps. Almost black, but just um, very, very subtly blue, which is lovely. So that's just one of these warp talons. Uh, pull forward a few more so you can have a look at them. Again, really lovely clean finish. I do like the gold on this. It looks very antique-like um, with that subtle highlighting that it's got. And I uh, really like the faceplate on this one with the uh, double horns. It's quite cool. Uh, let's have a look at the one of the ones with a demonic head. Uh, probably used as a champion in the unit but again a really really awesome awesome pose landing about to swipe someone away um, you've got more little bits of lightning there just on the jump pack and uh, that subtle highlighting on the claws as well which is, is really lovely so that's just uh, one of the demonic ones um, I do love this pose I have to show it because I think it's great it's the classic come at me bro but um, it's really really cool and uh, you can see like the belt buckle the little gems and things are all done in a lovely complimentary ready orange kind of colour uh, just to really make those uh, sort of pop on the model which is lovely um let's go through some of the raptors so much the same in the sense of painting and the approach to them but the uh, obviously armed with different weaponry got some lightning as you can see there and then again just landing on a little stump of uh, gantry or something uh, all the bases have got this uh, sort of uh, kind of like marshland ash ash waste kind of scheme to them there's some skulls and things scattered about you couldn't have corn models or 40k models without skulls and there's quite a few on these which is quite lovely uh, so that's just uh, one of the raptors with a melter gun let's have a look at another one with a chainsaw uh, just so you can see these guys uh, all the eyes and things painted much like on the demonic sword on that lord of slaughter but also done on the guns all the bones and everything fully painted as you can see on the jump packs um, so that's just one with a chainsaw. Let's have a look at a champion um, with the power fist. Uh, really, really cool again. I love the, uh, the the way that certain things are turning into like moors. You've got obviously like, the buckle or the harness for the jump pack has uh, got a little mouth on it, which is quite cool. Uh, move him round. You've got some little chaos stars and things that are painted in that red. All the Night Lords transfers on these uh, as across the force. Um, again, another Dark Angel um, head on the base there. There's that long standing rivalry all the way back to the heresy with the Dark Angels between these two. Um, we've got another melter gunner here just landing again about to jump off on attack someone give someone a very bad day uh, so that's just another one here and uh, we'll finish up by looking at the other champion of the uh, the other five man raptors unit just so you can see here in a bit more detail you see all the lenses and everything fully done uh, super crisp highlighting across all of these across all the armor paneling uh, little bits of free-handed lightning on them just to give them that final cherry on the cake for night lords but again really lovely set of miniatures and uh, that is all all of the assault infantry from this Night Lord's force. We've got some fast hitting stuff coming up shortly. So to finish off this hard hitting Night Lords force, we've got some Chaos Space Marine bikers, a great addition to a very fast, aggressive Night Lords force, um, all painted to a really lovely standard. And let's uh, pull some of these forward so you can see a uh, very classic model, the Chaos Space Marine bike. Uh, you can see that Rich has done a great job of freehanding that lightning onto their legs. Uh, all the little screens and everything on the bikes are all painted, the uh, trigger buttons and uh, all the little blips and bobs on there are all done. Um, again, you've got the flesh saddles, which is really, really cool. That reddish tinged sort of skin that's just been pulled over the saddle uh, quite cool you've got some mad max esque spikes and uh, wheel spikes as well which are really really cool uh, and that's just one of these bikers but all the lenses and everything are all done on them and i will go through a few of these so you can have a look at them in a bit more detail this is just one of the uh, champions again on just on his bike but all the gold work and filigree all done um, and just highlighted to a really super super clean uh, finish again you've got a bit of uh, lightning there just on the uh, cowling on the front again you can see all the screens uh, with that lovely sheen on them just got a little bit of gloss on them just to give them that sort of uh, screen kind of finish which is quite cool uh, and again more lightning down his leg but a really really nice complimentary sort of set of colors there the greens the reds just to go with this blue uh, pull forward a few more just so you can see them obviously with all the bikes there's they're, they're quite similar in the sense of um, the, the pose and everything so I won't show all of them but just so you can see the consistency between all the miniatures a uh, nice bit of lightning there and then some, some more lightning on the cowling at the front uh, and that's just some of these awesome awesome bikes i'll pull forward the one last champion just so you can see the champions as well because uh, both of them are really cool uh, i do like that sort of demonic kind of head that they've got which is quite Quite different really and it's just uh, nice to include those to denote those as champions uh, but again a lovely clean finish uh, on these night lords bikers do hope that you like them ever so much and uh, this night lords army is now going to be off to cause some uh, well some terror on people essentially but uh, yeah i hope you liked it
So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.